Hey everybody, we've made it down here to the Hasty Bake Factory, Tulsa Grill Store. We're right here getting ready to go in. We're gonna go see Nick Parsons. Come along with us, we'll go meet Nick. Folks, we're standing here in the Hasty Bacon showroom here with uh, Mr. Hasty Bacon himself, Nick Parsons. Yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> we're glad to be here. And Nick, man, we're glad that you had us yeah, here. We've got absolutely. a little social distancing going on with masks. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do the bump. <laughs> but we're getting ready to go in here and look through the showroom and kind of uh, show you. We took a few photos of the showroom, but in the factory part. Yeah. Show you how Hasty Bakes are made and some things about that. Tell us a little bit about the history of Hasty Bakes. So Hasty Bakes was founded in 1948, so we're coming up on almost 75 years now. Mm -hmm. The majority of the designs have really kind of stayed remotely the same. So the crank mechanism that, you know, is kind of the, the standout part, you know, to right. be able to raise and lower your firebox. Uh, you're gonna see it on models from the 60s, the 50s, all the way through our current models. So all the way that cooking and the convection cooking is kind of what brought it. So we started out in 1948, gone through a couple different owners at the time. Our current owners had it for 25 years. Uh, all grills are made right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. All the steel is American steel. Uh, all our workers, man, they live here in the community and we absolutely love it. So it's kind of a, and it's a, really a point of pride for Tulsa for a business like us to be around that long right. uh, and have the reputation that we have and be able to pump out, you know, the, uh, the truly engineered products that we have. And you'll see when we head it back to the factory, you know, this is not the standard little welding shop that, you know, a lot of a lot of people are putting together this is something with you know precision tools and lasers and you know large bending machines and uh it's a big operation back here but we're proud of the number of drills we can pump out mm -hmm. uh and it's just it's a lot of fun tulsa gets behind it tulsa loves hasty bait tulsa loves hasty bait oh yeah i mean you, you know the thing everywhere. that i like right now america loves hasty bait i see more and more of these all the time when i first started cooking over here Everybody in Tulsa had one of these in their backyard. Yep. And I knew something was great about them. Their retro, the hood design for convection cooking makes these things cook like a dream. And it doesn't matter if you're cooking on a Legacy, it doesn't matter if you're cooking on a Continental or your Ranger or the brand new HB250. It all works together and it gives you that perfect color. So Nick, I'm glad to be here. We've got yeah. John Walter behind the camera. We're gonna go out here and tour the factory. Come along with us. We're gonna show you what's going on out here. All right, we're out here in the factory. Nick, tell us a little bit what we got out here. So behind us, you're gonna see a lot of pallets. Sheet steel, this is where it's coming in. So you're talking gauges from, you know, 20 gauge all the way down to, you know, you're getting 12 gauge, you know, for some of the stuff we use all the way down to quarter inch and 3 16th. I mean, every kind of steel we work with here. And what it comes down to is we make grills, but we're also a fabrication facility, so we make stuff for oil and gas and uh, stuff for defense and everything. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff that we make out of the factory here. Uh, but what we're going to talk about today for our interest is going to be grills. So you got our sheets that kind of come in from here, and I'm going to turn around and we're going to show you our lasers. We're out here at the laser. Yep. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in here. So this is the Eagle. This is one of the lasers that's in our laser bay. Uh, very high-end, very efficient laser. It's actually the same laser that they use to manufacture parts for the space station. Uh, so we have a, a pretty sizable laser bay. We're actually expanding our laser bay as well. But all our parts start off from the steel, get moved over here to the laser bay, get cut and brought on from the team. This thing is so unbelievably fast. Sometimes it takes up to a five or six man team to man the machine because they have to be able to get all those cut parts out of the way before the next sheet is cut and brought out on top of them. So you have to have a full team loaded up to run the laser this side. Place here, obviously, you can see the sheer amount of you know, depending on the tooling you're using, the sheer amount of space that you have on a bender of this size. Right here, we're bending some stands through some products. Uh, we got some legs over here, we're doing. I mean, it, these things keep us busy like crazy, but uh, you can see this is all of this is bender bay. 
uh, is our brakes and our benders, and then I'm gonna have you turn without making people dizzy. We'll head on right over. now. We're over here in the assembly area. There's there's all different kinds of parts here that they're putting together. But if you look right down here, here's one of the hottest things on the market right now. The HB250. They're sitting here getting ready to ship out. But there they are. All right. So the first step of assembly, kind of before we go into our final finish assembly, is our spot welders. So they're working behind me here. Every one of these spot welding machines. You're gonna see them pick up parts over time, and they'll be piecing everything together as it goes. Once those pieces get together, they come over here and they either get rivets done on them or they get deburred or whatever needs to happen. So he's working on some cold roll over here. This is what our Legacy 131, all our powder coat models start out at. They're not the stainless steel that we use for our shiny stainless models. It's actually cold roll that gets sent out for powder coat. All right, so this is our assembly station. They're gonna love that we're interviewing them. HB 250s, I see them right here, look at this. Don't mind us for just filming videos. I don't know how much you love being on video. HP 250s. One of the hottest grills out right here. So this is Josh over here. He assembles a lot of our grills. The majority of our grills that come through here, uh, he touches it one way or another. So he's the one who's been doing most of these HP 250s. This is the, uh, the last run of 250s. I don't know when this is going to air, but this is the last run of 250s we have until the orders that were placed in August. So, man, we are several hundred down the row, uh, and we've been pumping them out as fast as we can every single day, but every one of them gets a hands-on treatment. So whether it's being assembled and being picked up here locally or it's being put in a box, all that stuff, pieces got to go in, you know, rivets got to be put in, latches, all that stuff's got to be kind of final produced and then packed well, tighten that box for you to send out. So. All those pieces that we manufactured, this hood started out as something flat, those bodies started out as something flat. They've now been bent into place, they've been spot welded in place, all the hinges have been cut, all the doors have been cut and bent, they come over here. And the final step is this guy over here, just go ahead and popping the rivets in where he needs to, putting the spot welds in out here where they need to, getting everything all prepped up uh, for that to be a, an actual grill by the time you end up seeing it. Well, I want to tell you, I've put some practice runs, probably about eight stakes, 10 stakes, on the HP 250. It's gonna be one of the hottest grills out on the market just as soon as these get out to people in their hands. It's a great little grill. Of course, you know the Ranger is one of my favorite grills ever. This grill right here takes the great qualities of a Ranger and the qualities of some different style cookers like the portable and puts it in one total package. It's gonna be a great unit. So we're gonna look around a little bit more. We'll be back with you here in just a few minutes. Final section of our tour here for the Hasty Bake plant, and I want to tell you it's been phenomenal. It's been a great experience. Now we're at the final section, which is the packing and shipping. Now there's been some uh, big orders come out of here today. There's been Hasty Bake 250s stacked almost ceiling high in here getting out on the trucks. We got some right here getting ready to go out. Is this the 250s? Now, these are the 250s. This is the box you're going to get it in. It's heavily packed. We've had custom design companies come in and tell us how to get this thing across the seat so that we can make sure it's going to be right. you know, nice and packed. And so you guys watch the whole process of everything come down. Once it's assembled, they put it in these boxes for us. We come label them up and we get them out to you. So looks like we got another 16, 12 or 16 going out today. Uh, we'll probably have another 10 or 12 by the time the day is done. Uh, we're just, we're trucking through these things as fast as we can. Well, I want to tell you, it's been our pleasure to be here. Now, number one, I do want to say this. I'm excited about Hasty Bay. I'm excited as I've ever been uh, about any grill whatsoever just to be on the Hasty Bay Pro staff and part of the Team Hasty Bay. It's been a great experience for me, but not only is it a wonderful grill, it's a great and an awesome company to work with. Nick, I want to tell you, I appreciate you. Absolutely. It's been our pleasure. And I want to tell you something, if you ever get down here in Tulsa, be sure and stop by the Tulsa Grill Store, get you a little piece of history here, and come in, get you a brand new Hasty Bay. You sure won't regret it. Start cooking on one.